Hi, I'm Derek from Try and Bite. We've been Apple accessories specialists in Australia for over 30 years. And in this video today, I'm going to be talking about uh, iPads. Over the past years, Apple has added more software and hardware improvements to make iPads more computery. By more computery, I mean they've, they've added support for things uh, like the Files app, things like external drives, things like external display support. And this has really broadened the appeal of an iPad to a more professional or traditional uh, computer user. One of the biggest hardware changes was when they switched uh, iPad Pros from using the Lightning connector port, which was a proprietary Apple port, to the more uh, universal USB-C port. USB-C allowed for things like hubs to bridge the connectivity gap, which was handy because when Apple gave us USB-C, they took away things like the headphone jack. This was a great idea in theory because you could take your uh, USB-C hubs from your MacBook and MacBook Pro and plug it straight into your iPad Pro and use those extra ports. The problem is, however, a lot of those uh, hubs that you use were designed for a MacBook rather than an iPad. By this, I mean that the hubs were designed for machines that had their USB-C ports on the base of the computer. And on the iPad, when you use it in the laptop mode, the USB-C port is actually up on the display. And a lot of these hubs were designed to sit flush against the device, which isn't great for iPads because a lot of them have protective cases around them. And with that, the people at 12 South saw this great opportunity and released this, the Stego Mini USB-C hub. The Stego Mini is this tiny USB-C hub. It's made from aluminium, has this really nice uh, satin finish on one side and this glossy uh, pattern on the other side. And on the Stego Mini, there is a headphone jack, a USB-A port, uh, HDMI, and a USB-C pass-through uh, port for charging. And to use the Stego Mini, you just take your Stego Mini and plug it into the USB-C port on the side of the iPad Pro. And this is just a standard USB-C hub, so you can use it on your iPad or your MacBook as well. Uh, if you have to do something like a presentation that requires you to plug in a big uh, HDMI cable, then let's plug this cable in here. And you can see that it kind of like wobbles around quite a bit. It's a bit unwieldy if you have the um, Stego Mini plugged into the side of an iPad. So 12 South has very intelligently included this desktop cable and it's a half a meter cable with a USB-C plug on one side and a female USB-C plug on another. So in this situation what I could do is unplug the Stego, plug this desktop cable in here and plug my Stego Mini onto this desktop and it sits flat on my desk which is great. Uh, it's much better using the desktop cable than having everything hanging off the side of the iPad. And the great thing about the desktop cable is it's long enough to reach the desktop as well. Like with a lot of the hubs with the integrated cables, the cable's like really short, so it sort of dangles off the side, which is unwieldy as well. It's important to note that the Stego Mini is just a compact USB-C hub, so it does miss out on some features such as Ethernet, high-speed USB and SD card readers. Uh, if those features are important to you, then I think the full-size uh, Stego Hub by 12 South is a better bet. And it also has just as snazzy a cable solution for the iPad Pro with this uh, L-shaped USB-C connector. If you want to find out more about this Stego Hub, I'll pop the link in the description box down below. That being said, if this selection of ports is what you need for your iPad, then I think the Stego Mini is a great solution. It is well designed with thoughtful touches that we've come to expect from 12 South, like this uh, desktop cable, and it will make your iPad more 
computery. Stego Mini is now available in Australia for $89.95. I'll pop the link for this in the description down below. Also, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.